That's so Ed. He's working on some stuff. Look, we got the unit circle on my desk. We got all kinds of crazy notes written down. We're gonna we're gonna bring this to you in true life. Unit circle form. If you don't know the unit circle and pi, then we'll tell you. Circle knowledge. This is the unit circle. The unit this circle. Is a one unit circle. So the dimension from the center to here is one unit. No matter what size it is, we're calling it one unit. <laughs> it's, un it's unitless. It's unit. This is unitless. <laughs> so if we go in the x and y coordinate, if we go one to the left and the x, or to the right and the x, that would be one, and we don't go any up, so that would be zero. So that's our coordinates for that system, for that point. For that point on that particular on circle. X, going the other way, we went minus one and zero. We don't go up at all or down on the y. Over here, we don't go anything on the x, so we get a zero, but we get a plus one on the the y coordinate. Down here, just the opposite. We, we got go it. just the opposite. We go zero on the x, minus one on the y. All right. Now the important thing to remember about this is these things inside these brackets are the cosine and the sine of these angles. We've got an angle here. These are the, this is the cosine. So that one up there, 0, 1 degrees. is 90 degrees. Let's write that on top of there, 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. All right. Over here is 0 degrees. All right. Over here is 180 degrees. And over here is 270 degrees. All right. Now... This is the way we find the cosine and the tangent and the sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle. This one here is 60 degrees. This one in here is 45 degrees. And this one is 30 degrees. Now there's a real easy way to remember this. You go over 2, over 2, over two, over two, over two, over two. Then you go one, two, three, one, two, three. And we take the square root of the upper number all the time. And the square root of one is one, so we don't have to do anything with that. We take the square root of three, we take the square root of two, square root of two. Here we got the square root of three again. And here we got the square root of one, which is one. Now, all we have to do is put brackets around these. We put brackets around them, and those are our x and y coordinates for those points on the circle. And this tells us what the cosine of 60 degrees is, and this is the sine of 60 degrees. This is the cosine of 45, and the sine of 45 are the same number, because... They're exactly the same distance here and here. So the numbers are exactly the same. In your regard, while you go through the all soils. Pi. Oh, oh, we got a little diagram. We got a big number up there. What is that number, Ed? That big number is pi. Pi. That I eat pi. You get that number. I like pi. When you take the circumference. Okay. The circumference of a circle is the distance all the way around the outside of it. All right. That dimension, if you take that dimension and divide it by this one here, which is called the diameter, which is a line that goes from the outside right through the middle to the other side. So it could it go you, anywhere? It could go at any angle? Any, any place in the circle. It can go anywhere. All right. As long as it goes through the center. Okay. That's the diameter of the circle. All right. If you take the circumference and divide it by the diameter, divide just means like if you have an apple and you have a friend and you want to cut it in half, you're just divided in two so you can share it with your friend. Okay. If you divide that, the circumference, the distance around, by the diameter, you get this number. Look at how long it is. No matter what, no matter what the diameter or the circumference is? Yeah. So no matter what size circle you've got, it could be this big, it could be this big, it could be as big as you want. 
But as long as you divide that distance around by this, you come up with that great big long number. But you know what? It's not very fun to remember that number. No. So they gave us something. This little sign here. Let me see. I want to zoom in on that you sign. see that little sign? We're zooming in. That's Let's... called pi. Oh, and that's that ginormous number. So, I say so again. you never have to remember this number. You just have to remember this little sign here, and it's called pi. Not the kind of pie you eat. I like eating this pie. This is a different. We all like to eat pie. All right. As you can see, I haven't missed too many. <laughs> so, here we are. The circumference, the distance around, divided by the diameter, which is the line that goes right through the center, comes up to this number. So we need an example. Pie. We need an example. Here's a pie. We need an That's example. What pie looks like. But we need an example. It. Hard on the pie. Oh, oh, we got a little diagram. We got a big number up there. What is that number, Ed? That big number is pi. Pi. I eat pi. You get that number. I like pi. When you take the circumference. Okay. The circumference of a circle is the distance all the way around the outside of it. All right. That dimension, if you take that dimension and divide it by this one here, which is called the diameter, which is a line that goes from the outside right through the middle, to the other side. So it could go anywhere, it could go at any angle, any... Any place in the circle, it can go anywhere. All right. As long as it goes through the center. Okay. That's the diameter of the circle. All right. If you take the circumference and divide it by the diameter, divide just means like if you have an apple and you have a friend and you want to cut it in half, you're just divided in two so you can share it with your friend. Okay. If you divide that, the circumference... The distance around by the diameter, you get this number. Look at how long it is. No matter what, no matter what the diameter or the circumference is. Yeah. So no matter what size circle you got, it could be this big, it could be this big, it could be as big as you want. But as long as you divide that distance around by this, you come up with that great big long number. But you know what? It's not very fun to remember that number. No. Oh. So they gave us something. This little sign here. Let me see. I want to zoom in on that sign. You see that little sign? We're zooming in. That's Let's... called pi. Oh, and that's that ginormous number. So, I see so again. you never have to remember this number. You just have to remember this little sign here, and it's called pi. Not the kind of pie you eat. I like eating this pie. This is a different. We all like to eat pie. All right. As you can see, I haven't missed too many. <laughs> so, here we are. The circumference, the distance around, divided by the diameter, which is the line that goes right through the center, comes up to this number. So we need an example. Pi. We need an example. Here's a pie. We need an That's example. What pie looks like. But we need an example. It. 